8. The Rochester Broadway Theater League Broadway season partner, presenter, Albert Nacholino is back with us. Great to have you in Thank studio. Thank you, Mark. Great to be here. We move into fall, but yet we're thinking about summer this time of year. Worries. Donna Summer is getting ready to hit the theater next week. Tell yeah, us Yeah, we've been thinking about summer for three weeks now. Uh, we've been uh, fortunate to have the uh, Donna Summer musical teching and launching right here, uh, rehearsing in Rochester under the New York State Theater tax credit. So the company has been in the theater for three weeks, staying in our hotels, providing enormous economic impact, and we'll be launching the national tour right here from Rochester. So we're very excited about that. Indeed. The upcoming season, lots of reason to be excited as well. You've got some classic shows and you've got some new shows as well. Absolutely. Coming off a record-setting season last year with Hamilton, it's always like, what happens now? You know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've gone to seven shows on the season and we think we have a terrific mix of the new, the best of Broadway, as you mentioned, the classics and family shows, uh, starting with Donna Summer, of course. Right. Come From Away follows uh, in November. This is one that audiences may not be familiar with. It's a very special show. Still running on Broadway. A big big hit, also a big hit in Toronto. The story of 9-11, the day of 9-11 when 7,000 people landed in Gander, Newfoundland. And this little community embraced these folks and took care of them. Mm -hmm. And it's a story about that interaction and the memories that were made. And what I love to tell about this show is the cast plays both the passengers on the plane and the people in the community. It's a beautiful score, a great show, and I think something uh, that many of our subscribers and theater goes will be pretty surprised about if they if are not familiar with the show. Special piece of theater there. Uh, Anastasia is coming uh, in the new year. Jesus Christ Superstar, 50 years, right? 50 years ago, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Tim Rice wrote this little concert that, that's now a big <laughs> hit. Uh, revived recently uh, in London, won the Olivier Award, which is the equivalent of our Tony, recently on television, uh, but with a big production. That production, this new production with the same show, uh, right now tacking in Syracuse and finding its way here later in the year. Okay, uh, a couple of classics, an old classic, Hello, Dolly, and a new classic, Cats, as well. Yeah, it's amazing to have to refer to Cats as a classic. <laughs> right. Uh, and it's had more lives than the, a cat, but uh, yes, coming back. You know, it's a show that if you think about it over the, uh, over the years, and it now is decades, it's a show that young people saw many years ago and now bring, will be bringing their children to see it. Mm -hmm. And we love that story. Dear Evan Hansen, coming up uh, next June to kind of punctuate the season. That's the right word. It's the Tony Award winning musical. A uh, beautiful show written by two young men, Benj Pasek and Justin Paul, who did La La Land and The Greatest Showman. Uh, the music is, is wonderful. Young people know the score of this show like they did Hamilton. Yeah. And it's a story that many young people can resonate with. It's a story about a young boy who just doesn't quite fit in and tries to figure out how to do it. And along the way, uh, some things happen. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful show. Two shows that have done well in the past, people can see again this year, The Book of Mormon and The Lion King. Yeah, Book of Mormon back for the third time. It doesn't get any funnier. A yeah. uh, little, little crazy and irreverent, but, but a great show. And of course, uh, we're so excited that uh, Disney has uh, chosen Rochester to be home of, uh, for Lion King for the holiday season for three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, a show that we will have young people coming into the theater for the very first time. Should be a great time for everybody in Rochester uh, during the month of December into New Year's with Lion King. So a great season. We've got nine shows, 11 weeks, and a lot of theater. Yeah, and, and in the end, something for everybody uh, I think so. again. I think so. Thank you, Albert. Always Great to see you. Thank you for having us. Uh, tickets online and more information about all these great shows, rbtl.org is the link. We'll share that on our site at rochesterfirst.com.